Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a slideshow using Sony Vegas, how to adjust the preferences on how you import photos, and also how to use the keyframe function in Sony Vegas. Okay, inshallah, let's get started. First, you're going to go to File, Properties, you're going to go to 1280 by 720, 0.5 frames per second. This should fold the whole screen if you're uploading videos to YouTube. And you could also click this little checkbox so that it will, uh, Sony Vegas will always start up with these settings. Just click Apply and then click OK. Now, if you want to go, if you want to adjust your preferences on how you import photos, in regards to their length and time, you're going to go to editing and you're going to choose, go over here to where it says new still image length in seconds. It's at 8 seconds right now. I'll put it at 7. Just click apply and click OK. Then you're going to go to your photos. You could also import um, by clicking this box over here, import media. I usually just go to the folder and choose uh, the photos I want. You can just drag and drop right in here. Okay, and now if you want to, um, you see how you have these black bars over here? Last In my last tutorial I showed you click by, you can adjust that by clicking match aspect ratio, but you can also do it by stretching the, the video or photo that you want by going over here to source over here to source and where it says ma maintain aspect ratio you go click on it and click no you notice how the over here how the, the image stretched it doesn't really change the image uh, how it looks too so much so it's fine to use that and let me just speed this up real quick and do it for all of them Okay, after you do that, now I'm going to be showing you how to um, use the keyframe function in Sony Vegas and how to start your slideshow. You're going to click on this event pan crop tool and you're going to go to the first frame. You're going to leave that at, at, at that and then you're going to go to the last frame. It's the last frame and you're going to grab a corner and you're going to drag it in. That's where it's going to be zooming in. You could move this around to wherever you want to zoom. The more you, the further you zoom it in, the faster it's going to zoom in. So I don't know if you'd like that. So I just moved it over right here, zoomed in. You want to keep it on the last frame so that it doesn't jerk. The the picture doesn't jerk too much. All right, and you see how that looks. Just like that. Now, after you do that, you're going to want to, you can add uh, transitions. You have a lot of different transitions, some that come with Sony Vegas and others that you have to purchase. Um, but you don't want to go too crazy by adding all these different transitions. It might not look too good, but it's up to you on how you like that. And I usually sometimes just drag it, drag the, the, the clip video clip or the picture and drag it in like that. It's crossfade. See how it's like that? Nice and smooth. Now if you want to continue your slideshow, you can start by zooming in and then go to the last keyframe and then zoom out. Zoom out by restore. See how that looks. Okay, and that's it. You just uh, keep doing that with the rest of the photos. I'll speed this up and uh, I'll show you the end result. And I also I will also provide a project file for this. And at the end of me completing this, I'll show you how to replace footage. 
enemies. Notice when you when you, anywhere you move it on the timeline and you change this, you would see a, a little keyframe over here. It's like a little diamond shape. You could add multiple keyframes to this. You could also add another keyframe if you wanted to pause and then do something else. It depends on how you want your slideshow to look. And if you want to undo something, you can go over here by clicking undo or just pressing hold control Z and it'll undo. Uh, Alright, inshallah, let me show you now how to replace footage. You go to your project media, you're going to right click and replace. You're going to choose it if you want to change the photo without uh, adjusting or changing the, free, uh, the, the keyframes. You want to keep the same keyframes. You're going to right click and you're going to go to replace and you choose a different photo, you can whatever folder, uh, whatever photos in, you want. You're going to click on it, press open. Notice how updated right away and the keyframes are still there. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial. Inshallah, I'll be placing this project file, of the slideshow, in the video description, including all the photos that I used to make it. Um, don't forget that you could also download video background animations to include in your productions from the IslamicEmirate.com. These are these are all animations are 780, 1280 by 720, and we're constantly updating them. Inshallah. khair for watching. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. اللهم لك الحمد وأنت نور السماوات والأرض ومن فيهم ولك الحمد أنت قيم السماوات والأرض ومن فيهم ولك الحمد أنت رب السماوات والأرض ومن فيهم أنت الحق ووعدك الحق وقولك الحق ولقاؤك حق والجنة حق والنار حق والساعة حق والنبيون حق ومحمد حق اللهم لك أسلمنا وبك آمنا وعليك توكلنا